In this video, we'll show exporting a tessellated shape from the 3D Experience platform and then importing it into SOLIDWORKS as a solid body. Before you begin this process, you'll need to have access to one of these apps. To begin, we've run an analysis on this meter stick, bent it, and now we want to export the deformed shape. Step one of this process is to right click on the active plot. You can tell if a plot is active based on the little symbol here in front of it. If I use the activate deactivate for example on the displacement it's going to activate the displacement plot show me the color scales and if I right click on that active plot I have this option here to extract the tessellated shape the next step here is to select the product if I select the meter stick model it fills this field in and once I click OK we'll see it adds a 3d shape it says extraction succeeded Now I'll save my model. In order to export the deformed shape, I first need to activate the 3D shape by double clicking on it. This brings me into the 3D printing app and now I can simply select export. From the formatting options, I'll select STL in this case, though some other formats are also available, and then I'll click OK. The export succeeded. I'll click OK once again. One thing I'd like to note here is that the mesh that I used in the simulation has about one element through the thickness here. Let's see what our deformed shape looks like. I'll open up that STL in SOLIDWORKS. It came in as a solid body because I've already set an option in my import options. For when I import STL files, it brings it in as solid bodies by default. Also, if I look at the tessellation by showing it edges, you can see that here it, the number of triangles doesn't necessarily match the mesh. Since this is a solid body, I can perform solid body operations on it, such as cutting holes to remove material. Thank you for watching this short tutorial. If you'd like to see more content like this, please like the video and subscribe to our channel.